Good afternoon. How's everybody on YouTube doing? Uh, I hope you're doing real good. I'm hoping you're doing good. Um, not sure if you can see me. I, I, I see the screen on the camera. It looks a little bit dark. I can't really turn on the light because the light's not going to help. It's, it's really 5.30 in the afternoon. I'm on my way to work already. Um, I was doing some little knickknacks in town, paying off some bills and stuff. Um, but, um, let's see if I can put the camera this way. Maybe it looks better. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't think so. Anyways, I'm going to head over to work. I'll probably get there early. It'll give me a chance to eat my dinner. I just picked up some uh, some Panda Express. They make good food there. I'm not not here to advertise Panda Express, but uh, it, it's, it's good. to admit that they they serve real good food. Um, and and talking about food, I used to I used to go by. Um, Jason's Deli Jason's Deli Jason's Deli came out a real good restaurant they serve a good good king size salad bar um, and, and of course I would pick up those manager specials that have they had time have sandwich and the and the and the one trip salad um, naturally it was it was it was more or less a regular bowl, but I made sure that every single crevice on that bowl was filled up with something. Um, that salad was good. Now, and I'm saying was because it's in the past because of the fact of COVID nineteen and the and the uh, pandemic. Um, it it turned out that um, like like every other business, they had to adjust to certain things because the news media or whoever is in charge of the centers of disease control had said that there's only certain ways for you not to catch that deadly disease uh, or that deadly virus uh, so a lot of these restaurants change the way they serve their food um, a lot of the restaurants closed a lot of businesses went out of business but of course I, I'm not talking politics um, coming back to Jason's Deli I used to love getting the sang uh, the sandwich there and, and the salad with with a drink, you know, do a cup of iced tea. Um, now I don't go there anymore because they changed the rules. Even though the governor of the state of Texas has already opened up the economy, he has already declared that even though there is still COVID nineteen in in certain areas. Uh, it is extremely low right now. Uh, we haven't had any type of waves of, of sun deaths within the state of Texas, so he decided to open up the economy. You know, every everything goes uh, with with the exception that every business has the right to limit their or they, they they have the right to refuse service on anyone who doesn't follow the regulations. So the regulations that has it right now is that you still got to wear a mask. Even though the, the, the economy has been opened up, it doesn't mean that that uh, you stop wearing that mask. When you go into a business, 99.9% .9 of the businesses nowadays, they want you to wear a mask. Well, coming back to Jason's Deli story. Um, one day in there, within the time of the pandemic, they said, we're waiting to serve you a salad and your your sandwich. You say no, 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 no. That that willing to serve me as a salad, you, you don't know what I like, and I can't tell you what's the name of that little that little uh, item that's on there. I I usually see it if I like it, I pour it in the bowl. Okay, you can't do that. You cannot customize my salad. You say no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing any more business with Jason's Deli. Uh, there, there's no way. So now they said, okay, now we allow dine-ins. Okay, so I called the Jason's Deli and I asked him, uh, under the dine-ins, are we are, are we allowed now to 
server on Saturday. Oh no, we got a server for you. No, never going back again. If I cannot serve my own salad, I don't want somebody serving me a salad who they think might be good for me. I know what's good for me. They don't know what's good for me. I want to serve my own salad. And if they don't allow us to do that, I can take my money somewhere else. Pretty much. You know, it's like Con's Grill. They sell, you know, you know, uh, Mongolian food. But they allow us a bowl and a little bowl. The bowl is so we can add green peppers, um, you know, all, all, all types of vegetables. And the little bowl was for the meat, either, either bistake meat or um, chicken or seafood or even sausages. As long as we can fill it up to that bowl, is is the portion that we we would get. That's a good place. You know, they, they they allow us to do what we want for our plate, not not what they're gonna choose for us. We don't do we don't live in a socialist country where we have to we have to accept whatever the government gives us. No. We still have freedom of choice. We still have freedom of choice. I want to pick green peppers and and uh, some some other some other vegetables on there. I am going to pick what I want. Not what they want. Because that, that, that's the way it's supposed to be. Anyways. I guess I guess this uh, blog turn, turned into a food blog. Um, but, um, anyways. Um, I do want to say that I am taking the video with the Insta360 ONE X2 and it turned out to be a very good camera I, I had my I had my doubts when, when when it first came out because I have the Insta360 ONE X1 um, that one is not waterproof uh, that one, the camera lenses are very delicate they still become delicate but um, this one has has uh, has astonished me would be the word because me being a water person you know I, I, I like being around swimming pools scuba diving swimming whatever this is a waterproof camera just like this is an identical thing to the GoPro Max except the GoPro Max if you put it on hero mode it looks blurry underwater but you put this to stay on hero mode although it's not called hero mode uh, but but it's the e e e equivalent to the GoPro Max Hero mode. You put this camera underwater, it looks crystal clear, high definition video. It's a big difference from the GoPro Max. And it does everything else that the GoPro Max does, especially uh, uh, what, what the GoPro Max does is only a limited um, slow mo, and this one has three or four settings for slow mo. I mean, you can bring it down to extremely slow mo or freeze. You know, freeze, freeze type of videos. Um, of course, I'm not here to advertise Insta360. I'm just explaining to you that if you're ever in the market of a 360 camera, I think I would, I would, in my opinion, I would suggest that you look into the website on the Insta360 One X2. Anyways, we're coming up to nine minutes a video here, and I'm, 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 I'm like maybe five, six miles from work, so I'm, I'm gonna go and shut her down, and we will continue this on another day. Today is March the twenty something, twenty, March the twentieth. Um, maintain your social distancing since we still have. The virus is somewhere, present somewhere. Um, stay safe out there. Tomorrow is Sunday. Don't forget to go to the Christian church of your choice. Um, and thank God that you're alive today because a lot of people are not. Over, over 500,000 people have died already on this COVID-19. So please pray. And tell God, thank you very much for sparing me. 
uh, giving you an opportunity to live longer here on Earth. Um, and that, that's, that, that, that's if you're a Christian. Um, I'm, I'm not here to decide who is Christian and who's not. I, I, I'm a Christian myself, uh, although sometimes I get a chance to go to church, sometimes I don't. But um, I'm, very, I'm very thankful to the Lord for sparing me. I had COVID-19 and I got real sick. And I, 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 I knew I was gonna die, and yet he, he spared me. So, um, I can enjoy life a little bit more longer now. Um, they, they, they had a, China needs to invent a virus. <laughs> I'm saying China. Maybe it's not even China's fault, but China needs to invent a virus that, that will do the fountain of youth. That the moment I get the virus, I start turning younger now again instead of getting older. <laughs> anyway, uh, all that being aside, I, I apologize. I'm, I, I'm not the type to be making fun of any other country or any or any people's races. Um, I love the Chinese people. They're very nice people. I, I have a lot of Chinese friends. Um, and I'm not racist either. I'm, I'm not... I, 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 I like colored people. I like colored people of all types. Chinese, Mexicans, um, black people, um, you know, if, if I knew there was illegal aliens, uh, well, I have no idea what that will happen, but my Expedia is telling me that I just wrote 20 more points, and I was already close to 800. Anyways, y'all have a good day, and uh, God bless. And we'll see you maybe, hopefully, on Sunday's blog.